Hi friends, Kaylee with Kaylee's Canvases here. I am coming to you today to paint uh, another Star Wars painting. Uh, we are going to paint C-3PO today. I happen to think he's pretty cute and I really like his character. He's kind of like that nervous, um, you know, anxious uh, <laughs> good guy in the, in the video who just happens to win just by sheer accident. So I think he's pretty cool. Um, but this painting is super easy. I created a tracer for this and so you will find the tracer in the description. You can click on the link and it'll take you so you can download your free tracer. And um, th it's super easy today because we only are going to use three colors. So as you can see, I have my reusable plate, um, but I just have black, yellow and white. Those are the only colors that we have for this video. I've got three brushes. Don't even know if I'll fully need all of them, but I have a large flat, a small flat, and a, a small round brush, and that's for my fine liner details. And then I just have my cup of water and my paper towel, which you can't see on the camera, but they're there. Um, I also have a hair dryer if I need to pause and, uh, and dry off my canvas but we're gonna try to do it without that. So um, what we're gonna start off with um, is we're gonna start off with a yellow color and we're gonna do like a thin uh, yellow color on pretty much most of the canvas so we can get his face in there and then we will add in the black around it and where the shadows are and then we'll add in the highlights af at the end. All right, but first I'm gonna start with my large flat brush, okay? And um, if you're new to me, we um, I just like to do lots of video tutorials that really will help you just have fun uh, painting. Nothing. I try to make it as simple as possible so that way you can still have fun and learn a little bit, but it's not too overwhelming. Um, but we're just going to go in with some yellow paint. All right, I've got my large flat brush. I did dip it in water and dab it off so it wasn't dripping wet, but I've just got a little bit of yellow paint and I'm just going to do uh, lightly. And the nice thing is yellow is kind of a, a good transparent color so I'll still be able to see my lines through uh, the paint. Now, if you um, don't know what to do with a tracer to get these lines on here, I, I do have in the description also a link that will teach you how to use a tracer so that way you can follow along and do this and do this painting with us. Alright, so it's really not hard um, and I have in my video I have two easy ways to do uh, to use a tracer. So you'll be able to see that in, uh, in the video. All right, so I'm just gonna go through, I'm just painting his whole face yellow. If you wanted to, there's, you could use different shades of yellow. It doesn't have to be um, the same shade as me. Uh, this is kind of like, to me, it, it in the bottle it looks like a golden yellow but on the canvas uh, especially kind of watered down like this it kind of looks more like a a bright yellow um, but you could use a gold if you wanted to I do recommend using the yellow first and maybe adding the gold on after which if we wanted to we could add like some hints of gold um, but I think I'm just gonna for the sake of the video I'm just in simplicity I'm just gonna keep it the, these three colors but for anybody who um, likes to be a little bit more advanced uh, with their stuff, feel free to get creative and add in your own your own colors and hues. And there's different color yellows. So like this is kind of a warm yellow, which I like because it kind of gives the, it implies that it's kind of like a golden yellow color, whereas some yellows are very like, um, very bright, uh, kind of like a cool yellow. Um, so that way it'll be more like, a, I'm not exactly sure how to explain it, but just like a cool yellow. All right, so we've got this down and so that was super easy. So the next step that we're gonna do is we're going to uh, rinse off our brush All right, and we're gonna go in with our black. All right, as you can see, you can still see the drawing through uh, the paint. 
But we're gonna go in with the black and my brush is clean. If the, I'm not sure, we may have to dry our canvas, but we'll see how it goes without it. I'm just gonna start with the outside and if it blends weird with the yellow, which it kind of is a little bit, we can always dry our canvas. We can always dry our canvas and uh, and then go back in with this black, or we could just wait for it all to dry. Okay. That's all right, it's working out all right. It's blending a little bit, which is okay. We want a sharp edge along the top of his head, um, but this is absolutely fine. Once it's all dry in the end, we can go back over whatever parts are blending and we could just make it like a smooth, solid line. All right, so I'm getting close. I'm getting as close as I can to the line that was drawn on the canvas. All right, I always do two layers of black paint, so that way if I missed anything or if any of the colors blended in anyways, it would, it would be covered up. All right, so I'm just going over all around his head. All right, he's got some sharp, crisp lines. There's no, no need for any fuzziness around his head. So just take your time in this part, just so you can get those crisp, smooth lines. Okay. And also, too, depending on the kind of paint that you're using, you could end up with um, some different streaks and tones in your painting. So um, you might have to use two or three coats, depending on the kind of paint that you're using. Black is a pretty good color, though. It usually gives good coverage no matter what kind of, uh, no matter what brand paint you're using. And as you know, I always get the sides of my canvas, so I am going to paint up top and all along the edges. Okay, almost done with this. And once this dries, we'll go, we'll go along the edge and we'll fix up any of these soft um, muted edges here. Just wanted to get at least that basic color so it'll help you know bring the whole picture together make it'll make it easier to see and understand all right so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in with our small flat brush actually we'll use I'm sorry not the small flat brush we'll go in with the small round brush all right so I'm getting it damp and kind of wiping it off on the paper towel so that way I don't get any excess water that drips down onto my painting. Okay, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna use black. All right, most of the, like I said, this is just three colors, so it's really simple. Um, my yellow is still slightly wet, so I'm gonna be careful. If you want to, you can wait for this to completely dry before you go in with any other steps. Sometimes it can be easier, especially if you're a beginning painter. Nothing here really needs to be blended quite yet. So waiting for it to dry is okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna follow this line here. We're gonna fully cover up this part. This is a shadow on the side. All right, so can follow your line on this one. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use my again. I'm sticking for. I'm gonna be sticking to this brush and this black paint for a while. 
All right, so I'm gonna follow, there's a line right here. I'm not gonna go all the way over, not quite yet. Well, I will go, I'm gonna follow the line. So I'm gonna, I am gonna go all the way over with the line, but I'm not gonna fill it in completely yet. And I'll show you what I mean. All right, we're gonna follow this line all the way because there is a shadow above his eyes, between his forehead and his eyes, and that's what this marks. All right, but we're not gonna do the shadow fully across like a unibrow kind of thing. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the edge of his eye right here. All right, and we're going to start at the top and kind of go around on the, on the left side of his eye. And you're just gonna follow it down all right, and then up here, we're going to go a little bit over and we're gonna stop somewhere around here, but we're gonna allow it to kind of get a little lighter. So if your canvas is still wet, it'll blend kind of nicely with that, with that yellow. But if your canvas is not still wet, you can just make sure that you have very little paint on your brush for that part. All right, and so the next step, what we'll do is we're gonna go in and we're just going to kind of fill in the side, all right? And so we're going to, not the side over here, but like um, the side of his eye, like right above, we're gonna fill that in with black. We're gonna bring it around and with very little pressure, so that way it sort of makes like a shadowy color we're just going to kind of lift, put a lot of pressure right here and then pull and then lift up as it gets close to the end so it kind of makes these wispy uh, lines. It gives it kind of like a wispy shadowy effect. Very little pressure. Now this, you can do this with a dry canvas although it does work best if your canvas is still slightly damp. But you can get that same effect if you're careful and don't have a completely dry brush. Okay, so now that we've got that, we'll go in and we'll make this part darker in a little bit once it dries, all right? But we did just want to get that shadowy effect there. Okay, and you can go until you're happy with it. If you want to take it a little bit farther, there's you even if you go a little too far, it's not a big deal. We're just, you know, we've got the color for his face, and right now we're just putting in shadows. All right, and then after that, we'll put in the highlights. Highlights become much easier to figure out where they go once you get all your shadows in correctly. All right, so I'm gonna put in the dot for his eye. All right, and I'm just gonna make it kind of like a weird shape because he's kind of, he's got some weird lines to him. All right. And I'm going to give him a shadow underneath his eye too. So I'm going to just take my paintbrush and I'm just going to go underneath and I'm going to kind of create, um, it's going to be a little bit more solid than that side, but I'm going to kind of create a little bit of wispiness under here, but not too much. You can see this is definitely a more softer edge. This is a little bit more rounded, but with a little wispiness to it, a little softness. All right. And the reason I'm working over on this side first is because I am right-handed. So whenever I work, I try to work from here down. It doesn't always end up good. I've already dipped my hand in my paint here, but we can always fix that. We can always fix that later. I just wanted to get that basic color. It makes it easier when you're filling in there. All right, so I'm going back in with some more black. All right, and there's this, this line here. It's kind of like a weird curvy, almost looks like a little lake on a map. All right, we're gonna fill that in with black. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing over here, but instead of, there's this time, it's just a line here and it goes down, we're going to kind of create um, a shadow on the whole side of his face. Because in this picture that we're creating now, the light is coming from this way. 
or maybe maybe actually maybe straight on it's coming from like right here um, and so there will be some shadows here and some shadows here uh, but we will there's not a lot of light hitting his face so we just want to create a lot of sh a lot of shadows which actually is great because it creates um, a lot of contrast and whenever you're doing anything with painting you always want to have or any type of art you always want to have a lot of contrast that's probably the number one thing that beginners struggle with is creating that good contrast but that is the difference truly of what will make your painting look realistic and not realistic all right, is contrast. All right, so I'm just gonna get this side of my canvas. Just gonna bring it down. This whole corner is gonna be black for me. All right, and if I'm painting too fast, feel free to uh, slow me down. You can either, you can pause me and just when you catch up just go ahead and press play again and if I'm going too slow for you put me on two speed or something everybody paints at different rates okay so now I'm gonna go up here next uh, for a little bit of shadow up here so I'm gonna take it right about here following there's this line up here I don't know if you can see it on the camera but I can see it from where I am. All right, not getting a crisp line, so I'm just adding a little bit of water to my paint. All right, be careful you don't get any dripping water on the edge of your brush. All right, so I'm going to go along that line. And I'm just going to create kind of like that shadowy effect here. Okay, let's see. He's got a little piece up here. I'm gonna maybe just make this a little bit more clear and defining it by making a crisp edge. Okay, and it's looking pretty good now. Oops. Sometimes your brush moves where you don't want it to, so whenever you're painting the edges, do be careful because it likes to move kind of crazy when you get along the edges. Okay. Nice. So now we've got a good line here. and all right and I will touch up these edges a little bit later all right but next what I want to do is I'm gonna add a little bit of um, just a little bit of kind of like some weird kind of random line and shape up here it's kind of like a shadowy thing He's got, I don't even know exactly what it is, but if you look at him, he's kind of got a weird, weird little shape up here. I'm getting closer to the line that I had right here. You can do the same thing on this side. Sometimes when you're painting and you start to see those little things come together, it makes it all start to fit into place. Okay, and then we're going to go into the shadow on this side. So I'm going to just bring my brush. I have a, just a little bit of paint. I don't want too much. And I'm just going to follow this line. All right, keep in mind these lines are supposed to be pretty thin here. 
like this these yellow lines up here which will actually add a little bit of white and a little bit for some highlights All right, but we're just gonna follow this line if your brush starts to get a little rough like here just add a little bit of water to your paint mix it in so that way you get a nice sharp edge so you can really get that fine line All right so and we're gonna end up filling in all this with black anyways but you just want to make sure you get a nice smooth line here along the edges because you want that metal part to show through All right, I'm gonna do a little bit here because there is like a little bit of a dip I don't even know what that is in his head All right, but we're just going to make those lines and we're just going to keep connecting them and then we'll fill it in and keep in mind I always go to the edge of my canvas so you can do that if you need to We're going to get up here, there's another line, and we're going to take it from the top with the curve of his head and we're going to go, fo just follow it along. There's a little dip in here. Alright, just follow the curves of his face. I'm getting along this line here. And just connecting. So when I'm painting for you guys on the screen, a lot of times I'll try to keep my canvas straight so it shows up well in the camera uh, shot. But if you need to turn your canvas to make it easier to move your hand in any one direction, which a lot of times I will do that. Like if I'm painting, it's easier for me to paint a line down than it is to paint a line up. So if I have to turn my canvas upside down sometimes to be able to paint a nice smooth line, I will. So if you're painting by yourself, don't be afraid to turn your canvas. It doesn't make you any less of an artist. I do it a lot. Uh, I just try not to do it when I'm making videos because I feel like it might make it a little bit more difficult for you to follow along. All right, but I'm just filling in this area here. All right, and I'm gonna fill it, I'm gonna bring it all the way down. And we'll probably have to go in with a second coat because you can kind of see the yellow through it, but that's okay. Even if we could see the yellow all, like, you know, throughout the whole part of it, it really wouldn't be a big deal because this is a shadow anyways and so some shadows are not completely black all right there's a little triangle thing here i'm just going to fill that in i'm getting the edges of my canvas like i usually do Right, there's a little bit here I want to get. It's almost like kind of like an oval shape or a rectangle shape. I'm not really sure. Okay. And if you um, if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love if you would. Uh, Click the subscribe button. Well, like this video if you find it helpful, um, or if you really are enjoying watching or doing or painting this video, whatever. I would love to know because this will allow me to know 
what kind of content you want to see. Um, the reason I'm doing so much Star Wars, one, I do like Star Wars. I tend to be a little bit of a sci-fi nerd. But two, I had done a Darth Vader painting with my son um, uh, last year for May 4th. And, um, and when I did, I was surprised at how many people really loved and watched that video and found it very helpful. So that's why I'm doing a few more Star Wars video. I have, um, I have one of Yoda, one of Darth Maul, and one of Darth Vader. And so now we're getting this C-3PO one. So if there's something you want to see, you know, don't be afraid to like or comment. Um, and, you know, subscribe to my channel so that way you don't miss out on any new content. All right, so we're just going to go back in. I'm going to, uh, I filled in all that. We're going to have to go in with a second coat in a little while, but I'm just giving him a little pupil to his eye. All right, and then I'm going to go in with a thin line around here. And this time I'm going all the way around his eye. All right, and we're gonna kind of, um, we're gonna create that same shadowy effect. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna fill in this whole thing. I'm gonna um, leave a little bit of a gap here because I'm gonna make it that shadowy uh, feature again. So I don't wanna get it too bold at the edges. Not quite yet. Just gonna follow this line. for the curves of his face. All right, my black is a little bit of a gray color in parts of this painting because it had mixed with the yellow. So if you have any parts that you know that you feel should be a little bit darker don't be afraid to go in but keep in mind you do want to have a little bit of variation you don't want everything to just be solid black and yellow All right, especially because we're only using three colors so it's okay if uh, if we've got some parts that have kind of like a softer muted color okay so now we're going to go and we are going to go down. We're going to create kind of like a shadowy effect under here. All right. Remember more pressure right here and kind of lift up and apply less pressure as you get further out. And it'll kind of give it kind of a lighter, wispier look. All right, I'm going to do the same thing over here. All right. I am going to have, um, I do want a little bit of a line to come down a little bit towards his nose. All right, so in the middle where it dips down, make sure you just have like a thin line. We're not going to go all the way down, although we are going to go pretty far. Try to make it as straight as you can coming to the point of his nose. Not all the way, just most of the way like I did here. Okay, and we're going to close in the gap a little bit over here. Not much. I don't want to totally diffuse the yellow. All right, go ahead and fill in some more shadows. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna fill in around his nose. And there is a little tiny line here and we'll get into some more details about that, but there's a line that goes down and a line that goes across and I will get into that. 
in a little bit once we get to the reflections but I'm gonna for now I'm gonna fill in his nose so I'm gonna go all the way down to where the line kind of curves around it goes almost all the way down to his mouth so I'm just gonna go up a little bit to where that there we go where the point is right. and I'm not gonna go all the way out we are gonna create uh, again another shadowy effect all right so again with the little wispies Right, and we'll do a little line right here where that line was. Just a little black line. All right, now we're gonna do his mouth. So we're just gonna fill in his whole mouth. Almost looks kinda like a Band-Aid. Um, but he does have a little top almost like kind of like a little cross thing all right if you need to stop and blow dry your picture because I keep dipping my hands in my paint it's okay if you need to do that I'm I haven't messed it up too bad yet And we're going to go down a little bit too. So there's a couple more little lines down here, kind of where it meets his chin. And we're just going to fill that in. Okay, as best we can on the edge. And I'm going to kind of come out with just a little bit of softness, a little wispy there, not a lot. I don't want too much. Okay, so I think we've done most of the black that we're gonna need. Uh, we might be able to touch up a little bit um, here and there. And we'll actually get, you know, once this dries, we are gonna have to touch up some spots. But I'm just gonna touch up a couple spots that I think might need some more black. Okay, um, and I'm going to go back into my flat brush because most of my edge is dry, so I'm going to go back in with that flat brush and I'm going to add that second layer of black paint. And now that we've gotten most of those shadows in there, you can really see how it's coming together. And, it'll, and you can see it'll make it a lot easier when we have to figure out where the highlights go. So I'm just coming in, just trying to perfect this black. This could always be done at the end as well. I don't have to do this all right now. I'm just allowing some of this other blacks areas to, the other black areas to dry so that way it'll make it easier uh, for when I need to go in with some highlights. Because we are going to add a couple little little things in the in the shadow here
Right, I'm going to get my sides again. I'm going to get in here. I'm only doing over here because it's kind of a big chunk of black area. So once you get into the smaller areas, you definitely want to make sure you go back into your smaller brush. I actually haven't even had to use my small flat brush yet. Okay. But I might use it. Alright, so I'm going to, actually I'll use it now. So I'm going to go in with that small flat brush. And I'm just going to touch up the edges that, like some of the semi-bigger edges that weren't too big, but not too small. And then just touching up these areas. Painting is, is so relaxing and it's a great tool to use uh, if you have anxiety or depression because you can create something beautiful and focus solely on this um, instead of whatever problems you have going on. This is actually, like for me, like I get into painting and sometimes I even have a hard time remembering to talk on my videos because it's so relaxing and I'm so focused. So if I ever go silent, it's just because I'm really focused on what I'm doing. Alright, so we pretty much have that taken care of. I am going to um, pause my video in just a second so I can blow dry this because I don't want to stick my hand in any more paint. So I'm going to pause you for just a moment and I'll be right back in a second. Okay, so that was one second for you, and it took me probably about one minute to dry my canvas. That's the one thing I love about acrylic paints is it dries so quickly. Um, but I'm back, and we're going to work on the highlights. So right now I am just cleaning my brush off and drying it off, and I'm going to um, blend together a little bit of... Um, actually, I might not even blend. I was going to say a little bit of yellow and white, but I don't even think we need to do that. We'll just go in with some white. If we need to blend the edges, we'll create a light yellow in a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to go in. I'm going to take my, my fine liner brush, and I'm not going to worry about making a super fine point. We're just getting some paint on there. All right, and we are going to add in those highlights. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to come up here around the edge of his head and just kind of create a little bit of a highlight. All right, this one is probably going to be the biggest one on his on his face here. I think this picture is so cute. He's kind of like leaning in, like peeking. I feel like when I see this, I feel like he's kind of like leaning around the corner and kind of looking nervous about like what's what's coming next. All right, so I'm just going to go along here. Oops. Must have not cleaned my brush out completely because I had a little bit of black in my brush, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to go up a little bit up here. Not a lot. A little bit up top little bit right here and we're just going to start adding little lines um, if you need to change your paint water because like my paint water is pretty pretty gray 
Um, feel free to go ahead and change your paint water um, so that way you don't get any black in your white paint. But you're going to go in and you're going to continue to use the white and we're going to kind of follow some lines around his face. Okay. I'm going to go down and kind of where it gets bigger is your, your highlight's going to get a little bit bigger too. Okay, and I'm going to leave a little bit of gap here where this yellow thing is, and I'm going to go down, do the same thing on the bottom part. Okay, and we'll get um, right around here, maybe we'll add a little bit of, of a highlight. Just think about, you know, where most of the light, wherever your light is coming from is where you want to put most of your highlights. So just think about the direction of that. Alright, we'll get some highlights over here. Kind of follow along with the curves of his face, kind of like we did with the shadows. But at the same time, we don't want too many curves on his face because this is um, an old-fashioned robot. So I don't think that they had quite as many as what we would see in a movie today. Alright, so I'm going to go around. Not too much. Okay, and maybe a little bit over here in this crevice. Okay, we might have some around his eyes. <coughs> Alright, a little bit. We don't need them to be like perfect. This is his eye, you know. Nothing really here needs to be that perfect, you know. But we do at least want to have um, some lines and rhythm in his face. We want, the only thing that really has to make sense in this is the contrast, the light and the dark. And that's the, pretty much the same for most any pictures. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have perfect detail just means that you want to get your light correct. Alright, so I'm going to get a little bit of that there. Because this, I kind of imagine this to be his lips. And like his chin area. All right, we gotta get some highlights in his other eye. Kind of do want to follow some of the curves of his eye. Okay. All right, next we're going to, um, we're gonna get some more highlights on, along the edge, but we'll do that at the very end. Next I wanna get some lines in here. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix um, 
a, just a, a some yellow with just a dab of black right so just a teeny little dab of black kind of give it like a dirty yellow effect All right, and what this is for is to kind of make it look like still part of his face, but it's kind of part of like in the shadows. Okay, so let's see. So I'm just going to go and I might need to add a little bit of water to that just so I can get a nice thin fine point on my brush. All right, and we're just going to go in and make some lines. Just kind of like follow the curves okay just follow the curves we'll add some other highlights to this in a little bit we're just getting some curves in his face because he has some other parts on the side of his head that you can't really see too well in this picture because of the shadows you know, I want to, sometimes it's easier when you're painting, when you're a beginner painter and you're trying to paint uh, something like this, you know, the less detail that you have to put in, the better. Um, so that's why we try to stick with a lot of blacks, you know, like the black background and, um, and just a few simple colors. Um, so we're going to add in some more yellow. Okay. And I'm going to create kind of like a slightly brighter color, okay, because it's still in the shadows, but we do want to add just an edge of color here. It kind of looks like, almost like a green color. Okay, and so I'm just going to go along the edge of this with that yellow. Alright, but I'm not going to take it all the way down. This time I'm going to do it in smaller sections to kind of imply almost like the same type of um, structure here where he's got those weird knobby things on the side of his head. All right, so just go ahead and do it in sections and we'll add um, some other pieces to it to kind of make it look a little bit more real as well. Okay, and we will get along here too. A little bit smaller up here because there's less room. A little bit more here. Down here. Okay. Okay, and so now we'll add just um, some little lines on the sides of them to kind of make them kind of curve out like this. So we will go just like this along the edges. Doesn't have to go all the way up, just enough to imply that they're there. Like a little tiny bit of a highlight in a shadowy area if your brush starts to get dry go ahead and add some water to it Okay, and I'm going to actually the same color, I'm going to add a little bit on here to kind of give it kind of like a shadowy look because I want it to be a little bit darker. It's still in the shadows. I don't want it to be um, completely bold. I almost want it to look like it's almost going from like step by step, you know, where it's just slightly you know, a little darker in here, a little lighter, and then a little lighter. So, I'm going to go in with that. 
I'm just darkening up along the edge here, kind of almost kind of like blending in a sense, just to create like a gradient of colors. If you want to skip this part, that is absolutely fine. There's nothing that says that that you can't have a little bit more of a bold color along this part. Okay, and um, gonna do a little bit on the underside here. And maybe even a little bit up here because I'm just wanting to add in those shadows. So we're still only using three colors, just yellow, black, and white. I'm just using, blending and using it to my advantage for this picture. All right, maybe just a little bit along here. Right, not a lot of pressure if you're going to do here. Very little pressure. You could even, if you wanted to, rinse off your brush, dry it off most of the way, and just gently blend. And it'll kind of blend your colors together a little bit. It's kind of a nice way to, to get a shadowy effect without... Um, without having to blend together too much paint. Okay, and you can kind of do this and it'll add like a very slight shadow wherever you want one. If you just use a little bit of water, dab your brush off, and you could just, it'll soften some of the edges wherever you want them to be softer. Okay, and you can, like I said, you can make it wherever you want to. It'll just make your shadows a little bit more realistic. And if it lightens some of your black, that's okay too, because you can always go in at the end with some some black paint to cover up whatever it might rub away. All right, we're almost done with this. All right, I'm going to add just a little bit of a black line here to represent kind of like his lip. Okay, and you know, you just kind of look around and see where you want to add more lines or, or cover up some lines, like if anything is too thick or too bright in certain areas, that's okay. And if you have ant, um, I know I already mentioned this, but um, I would love it if you could uh, like and subscribe and this will help me to know what more to show you. Sometimes when you get into a video you really like, sometimes you forget to like and subscribe. I know I've done it before. I get so focused on a video that I'm watching, I just completely forget. Or I get busy and I'm doing other things while I'm listening and I forget to like and subscribe. And then I have to go and try to find it again. Okay. Um, and I, the only other last detail I want to add is a couple more final highlights. Alright, so we're going to use this white. You want to maybe add, if your white is a little thick like mine is, maybe just add a little bit of water to thin out your paint a little bit. Twist your brush to kind of get that nice fine point. Twist and pull. It'll give you a nice fine point on your brush. And we're just going to go in with a line across here. This is part of his nose or something. Alright, and we might even have a little piece down here. But I'm not going to go all the way up. 
It almost gives the illusion that it's connected, but we don't know for sure. All right, and then do a line across the top here to show a highlight. Just a thin, small little line. Wherever you think those highlights should be. All right, and I'm gonna go in, I know I said that was the last thing, uh, two last things actually. A little bit of yellow. Just gonna touch certain areas with some bright yellow paint, just to give the illusion of some parts that might get a little touch more reflection. Okay, and then last but not least, we will paint our signature. So always, always, always make sure you sign your paintings. And it's always easier when your brush is slightly damp. Having a thin brush, a really thin brush will help too, but make sure it's slightly damp with some, some wet paint. You don't want your paint to be too thick or too dry or else you end up with thick lines. But and there we go. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you come back for more. Let me know what you liked, what you found helpful and I hope to paint with you again. Don't forget the free tracer is in the description of this video. Um, it's really simple. Just click the link and you'll be able to find it along with details of how to actually trace. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.